Hey everyone, my name is Praise Karim and you're welcome to Tips and Tricks with Praise. So today I'll be teaching one of the easiest ways to drain your dress while sewing, your pants, your tops or whatever it is. So what we'll be needing for this tutorial is our scissors, our chalk, our measurement tapes and our pins. So this method is quite easy, very easy. I've been using this app for a very long time and trust me, so as to measure your client properly, you won't have any issues. So you don't have to measure twice or whatever. So it's going to come out really perfect if you use this method. So what you are going to be doing, I've already um, joined my lining and my lace together. And you can see this is my main fabric and my lining together. So I'm just going to secure the bust points with pin. Just secure at any um, places you see. Not There's no really um, technique about that. Just secure it just so that it doesn't shift while you are walking or while you are joining. Just secure, just as I'm doing right now. Secure at different points. I'm securing at my own that bust right now. I secure at the bust point and that's it so that lining won't wobble while you are working on the dress so i finished securing it just turn out your um cloth in or out so i'm going to be turning out so i already know my seam allowance my seam allowance is 1.5 which is my the seam allowance i use for almost all my dresses so for you you know what you left for your seam allowance so just take it and fold your cloth into two that's your front part of your front body is folded into two you can take your client measurement and divide into four at this point for like me, I know. Just now, place it now. Push your cup out properly. And go ahead and put your measurements right on your dress. So this is where you're going to be putting your measurements. See if you divide your measurement, your client's measurement into four. For me, I know my client's measurement already. So my own clients, I'm using 1.5 allowance. But I'm just quickly going to secure here with a pin so that it doesn't shift and give me very wrong measurements. So yeah, secure as you go with, a, with your pins. I'm securing this other part with a pin as well so it doesn't work while I'm sewing. Pin is not a sign of expertise or need expertise. So now just make sure across your bust with your cup puffed out. Don't want a very flat look because you're imagine you're imagine your your client's boobs on it. So you know what people are used to how to take measurements. You open your blouse into two and take from one into another. Nah, this is a very easy and perfect measurement. I'm going to be showing you perfect way of joining. I'm going to be showing you that come out very accurate. Now my client's measurement is one and a half. I'm just going to mark it out. I'm still going to cover that armhole. You know it's quite small right now, so I'm just going to do it at my waist. Forget about the underboss, guys. Just don't worry. It's going to blend in. You'll be shocked. So I'm just going to mark. You can use your ruler at this point to connect both lines at the waist and the bust, but I'm just going to use my chalk as the battle that I am now. <laughs> so now go out to your sewing machine and put your machine on a loser stitch number five. If you're using the social machine, you can go ahead and put it on number five. But if you're using a black eyed machine, you know how to do it to sew a very loose stitch. It's called a basting stitch or what people call gathers. So just put it and go ahead and so loosely you can see not so just go ahead so a very loose stitch carefully so just go ahead and sew at this point now yes don't back stitch don't worry about it that's it going to yank it off so just cut your thread now at this point and now you're going to go to your ironing table take out your pins first though then go to your ironing table and you iron this out properly just this way open it up and iron it's going to give you the exact mark you're going to be attaching your back and front piece to i mean so let's go to our ironing board right at this point so let's go guys now we're on our ironing board so i'm just going to place this on my board and open the seam take a steam good steam iron oops my iron is so dirty but when anyways Take a good steam iron and iron how that allowance you sewed properly. Very good steam. Emphasis on good steam more and a moderate heat. So I told you boil your lace. No, some lace are very thin. So just iron properly. Use your steam generously and iron. So you can turn out at this point to repeat the same process at the front of the lace. 
if you have watched to this extent i am yet to subscribe guys i don't know what you're doing please subscribe turn on your notification bell like and leave a comment on the comment section on every video i drop so guys now take your sim reaper and losing the allowance that's the loose stitch you have so lose it carefully so uh me it's don't be like me sometimes but this this process i'm doing right now you have to be very careful and you have to be very used to the kind of place you are working it's now you see the lines the lines have sewn and ironed out super smooth and obvious so you're just going to take your uh, your fabric and attach the back piece to the front piece on each side i hope you understand just go ahead attach your you can at this point you can start lining to lining or lace to lace you have all the lines you need you don't have to worry about the allowance so go to your ironing board and attach you see the lines super sharp lines attach your back piece to your um, front piece do it at both sides so now you can see let me bring it and show you properly so these are my um, back piece of my fabric don't mind me i have different color of <laughs> the past day inside my back piece don't worry it won't show it inside my lace so just go ahead and attach at this point you see where i'm putting it in here it gives you an accurate measurement you don't have to worry you don't have to be to checking your measurement of every single stage of your sewing just go ahead and sew away then you don't run a stitch on it a tight stitch at this point run a stitch and see simple easy peasy same thing for the lining as well do the same process on the lining and you see everything is perfectly showing just put it that way and just put it guys this is one of the easiest method you can ever ever apply to joining your clothes this process you can repeat it on anything you want to join your gowns your skirt your pants everything you want to join guys this is a very sharp hack and reasonable hack to use and you don't have to be measuring across your from one end of your blast to the other and most times you know we are not perfect as human beings your hand might be your measurements might change or your hand might not just be straight but see so this method you can't go wrong with this method you can never go wrong please take my word for it and if you try this method please come back to this post and leave a comment on it and let others know that it worked for you i've been using this method for the longest time you see my skirt i did the same thing for my skirt my lower part of my blouse i don't know if you can see it properly but I've, I've drawn my stitch at this point. I've not, I've ironed, I've not ironed it out though at this point. I'm just going to iron it out at some point. You can see the line showing my hip line and my knee line. So I just run the stitch and okay, yeah, I've ironed this point. I'm just going to loosen. Guys, please, please use your seam repair. Be very careful. Ignore what I'm doing. No. Use your seam repair and be very careful. I already understand my lace. My lace is a little bit stiff. But if you are using a very thin lace, like those mesh and all that please don't try this at home it's going to tear your lace this is not what we teach on tips and tricks we don't teach how to tear client clothes we teach how to put them together so please use your seam ripper don't use scissors don't use cut class don't use knife <laughs> just use your seam ripper at this point I, there's no big girl in this one there's no expert i'm not going to use my seam ripper with all level of humility and use carefully i cannot go and buy lace i did not work for <laughs> So guys, just go ahead and lose carefully with Simipa at this point. Be careful not to tear your lace. Simipa took up a really sharp. So yeah, there you go. I'm just going to attach it to the um the front part of my lace to the back piece with the following the lines I've already high on that. And you see, guys, simple, easy peasy. So join me in the next tips and trick and watch out for my next tutorial. Bye.